What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Kurt's Cocktails. My name is Kurt, and I'm a non-bartender teaching other non-bartenders how to pretend to be bartenders. And today, we are doing the quick and easy classic called the Negroni. Um, I didn't really get too much of the history on that. Um, what I was able to see right before shooting this video was that uh, back in Italy, there was a drink called the Americano. It was uh, sweet vermouth, Campari, and soda. Some guy named Negroni wanted something stronger, so he asked his barkeep for something stronger, and he replaced the uh, soda with gin, and the Negroni was born. So it's a quick and easy drink. So let's make this a quick and easy video. Let's get right to it. One ounce each. Ounce of gin into our jigger, into the mixing glass. Ounce of Campari, which some people might not like. Um, I didn't like it at first, it's pretty bitter, but uh, you'll learn to love it after a while. Ounce of Campari into the mixing glass, make it nice and red and pretty. Last thing is our red sweet vermouth. Um, if you buy vermouth, keep it in the fridge and make sure you drink it all in a month. We're pretty much uh, at the end of this one's lifespan, so I gotta make all the vermouth drinks I can. One ounce of that into the mixing glass. Now they make legit actual mixing glasses and that's all they do, but if you have like a big glass mug or a stein at home, it'll do just fine. But the bar spoon is a good thing to have too. So I'm gonna set it here and you just wanna go across the inside of the glass and push the ice around. You don't wanna churn the ice, just move the ice around. And you wanna do this until the glass starts to feel really cold and that's when you wanna start tasting it. Again, don't have to get down in there, just make sure you're pushing the ice around and you can control it with using just your fingers and not so much of your wrist, you're doing a good job. Taste it. I like that. It's got a little bit of a bitter kick to it, but it's also pretty sweet. Uh, I got my uh, Rigi Rocks glass today, and I got my little ice sphere chilling in here. So, ice sphere into the rocks glass. Strainer goes on the mixing glass. We pour. Doesn't that look pretty? Give it a last good drop out of that. And we take our garnish, which we pre-prepped before shooting. It's just an orange peel, uh, a, as little of the pith off as possible, or get as much of the pith off as possible, as much of the orange on as you can. Let's get the drink in view here. Spritz it over the drink. Get those oils into the drink. Move the peel around the glass and plop. And there you got a new groaning. Let's see how she tastes. Mm. Um, it's a bitter from the Campari, but um, again, I, I love the balance that the sweetness from the vermouth gives to it. Um, it's a lot more, it's, it's sweet with a, bit, with a, uh, a bitter kick to it. And uh, look at that pretty red color there. So um, this is the Negroni, easy to make. Shortest video so far in Kurt's cocktail history, so uh, I'll leave you alone and I'll let, you get, uh, I'll let you get down to it. Go make a Negroni. See you in the next one. Bye.